Apple is wanting people to change how they change their home screen wallpaper. And I'm gonna explain it to you in simple English. To change the wallpaper on your iPhone home screen, you have two options. The first option is to go to the settings menu, find the wallpaper option and select the desired wallpaper from within this menu. However, you may also notice a message suggesting an alternative method. This method involves long pressing on the lock screen instead. Once your iPhone is unlocked, long press on the lock screen and it will pull up the lock screen customizing menu. From here, you would select the lock screen you want to modify, which would be the one you're on if you're not using iOS focus modes, and tap the customize button at the bottom. And then select home screen, and from here you can see you can do color, you can do gradient, and then blur effect, and finally the photos that you may want to use. If you're interested in customizing and making your lock screen be cool and unique with animated wallpapers or being able to change your lock screen wallpaper when you're tapping on it, check out the video. Now, if you only want to customize the icons and layout of your iPhone home screens, you will need to follow a different set of steps. Simply long press on your home screen on an app or an empty space and then select edit home screen from long pressing an app or pressing on an empty space for about two seconds and that will enable jiggle mode. In this mode you can move icons and widgets around, put them into folders if you would like to, and even create some by dragging an app over another app and then that allows you to create a folder and name it and then have multiple pages within that folder. If you want to add an app icon, you go to the right and here you can drag them from your app library onto your home screen, just like when you're combining them into a folder. You can hit the done button at the top. And of course here, you can see that icon on the top left also next to the done button. This one does your widgets, which I have a full guide on my website and a video here on YouTube if you're interested on learning about how to best utilize iPhone widgets. Now I want you to pay close attention when you're in jiggle mode you can see that now there are two dots there at the bottom. You need to press that and it will show you all of your home screens and these things can get real messy if you don't have iOS focus modes because you can pretty much have all the home screens pages you can dream about but the more you add the messier it gets and ios focus modes helps you keep the important ones based on where you're at and what you're doing so if you're interested i recommend checking out my guide on my website and the video in the channel i'm in world 7 your host at richie rich labs and i'll talk to you next time peace